Well, good morning. Happy Saturday uh, from Ohio. Now, uh, leaves are changing. It's cool weather. And it's been a sad week in, in the Turner Syndrome community. Uh, my name's Mark. Uh, the channel is Brother Mark Turner Syndrome Butterflies in Life. Thank you for joining us. Um, I thank you for joining me. I, you'll have to forgive me if I'm just having trouble trying to keep my thoughts straight, but uh, if you checked on uh, YouTube, uh, Life of Amy Turner Syndrome is is, is no more. Uh, the channel's been taken down and the YouTube and the uh, YouTube channel is, is, is gone. I feel sad, I feel a lot of grief, I'm shocked, I've spoken to a few other Turner Syndrome sisters and, you know, really haven't got a feeling one way or the other, but they've at least been a, a appreciative, but I'm sure though with the, with the amount of support that and following that Amy had, I think there's a lot of people that are just, that are, that are, that are in shock. Uh, I want to be careful, though, because we've had a lot of gossip and slander and false rumors kind of thrown around. So why she did it, I don't know. I will say I will talk about some of my experience, and strength, and hopes that I that I've had. But I also wanted, but I also wanted to kind of share some fond memories of the of, of the channel. Uh, I loved Amy for she did. Love the channel, and, and certainly if she's going on, if she feels she has to go on to other things, uh, I wish her well. I wish her the, I absolutely wish her the best. Um, and it just, it just kind of goes, you know, it goes without saying. It was wonderful to to uh, to watch to watch it to watch her channel. It was wonderful just to see the support that she had for other butterfly sisters it was and sometimes you know, maybe it wasn't the most professional and sometimes it and yeah, sometimes it could be a little, a little comical and a little up sometimes but yeah that's all right but she touched a lot of topics that were there, as i said in the previous video there were no sacred cows and she was really good about calling a spade a spade and she was also just a wonderful source of source of encouragement. Uh, I think that one of what I mean, there's so many favorite videos. I think there was, I think there was one that was just her love for animals, though, really came through in in, in a really comical way. In one, one, in one video, uh, the video just never got off the ground. She decided to air it anyway. I don't remember what it was on, <laughs> but it, her little little uh, little uh, Chihuahua uh, uh, Mebo just kept it just kept interrupting. It was you you, you would have to be there, but it was, it was it was a canine version of the Smothers Brothers. It was absolutely hysterical with the interruptions and Amy trying to keep a straight face. I just <laughs> I was rolling on the floor. It, it was it was it was. Yeah, you know, it it was wonderful. Uh, I think she she handled some tough, t some really uh, tough topics too with with Grace and she, there, I hope that her books are still out there. Uh, the Big Book of Turner Syndrome. It's uh, I was st I still strongly recommend it. Still an inspiring read in her and then her first and then her first five. Just go, just go to Amazon. And just look up her name and and just download the download the books. They're they're a great read. There were there were many there were many other uh, fine uh, fine uh, fine videos and sometimes she had and then sometimes she was she, I loved some of her just off the off the top creativity and, and her uh, 
Turner Syndrome Wishes in the Bottle was a great was a great one that it comes you know, comes to mind. But she was always a mother hen. And she's always a wonderful you know, sense of sense of, you know, encouragement to say, you are somebody. She talked about what it's like growing up with Turner Syndrome, talked about all the pratfalls and, and the and the bullying. And once again, one reason I could relate to that channel was I, it paralleled some of my growing up with, with learning disabilities and the misunderstanding and the stigma and the and the and the iso, and the isolation. I could I could really so I could I could really I could really relate to that one. So I was I was shocked. And, and and saddened to see the channel go. Uh, I know that she took it down a couple other times because of because of drama, and and I I wouldn't blame her. I I would I wouldn't blame her if that. And the one time she did, and and I think there there may be some, and then there may be some other reasons. Of somebody came to me and said, "Well, Mark, it's because of so and so and this." And I said, "Yeah, I believe it." Uh, if if she were an employee of mine and she, and, and her job was to produce was to produce the the chat produce the channels you know, for me let's just say I'm working a you know broadcasting company or or a or a, pod, or a podcasting system and she said you know I've had enough for whatever reason or I want to go on to other things it, it would be it, it, it would be sad but. You know, I would, I would gladly, I would have, under those circumstances, I would gladly accept her resignation and wish her well. I'm sorry you know, to see the, see the channel grow, to see the channel go. I'm sad, I'm heartbreaking, but I think there, there is, however, Amy said was never afraid of ignoring what she called the heavy hitters and what I like to call the third rails. Actually, my, the, my channel is actually inspired by her. And I was, I t kind of took a cue. She would do a lot of videos of her, you know, coming home from work or, or driving several, you know, driving, you know, driving 25 miles to Burger King to get, you know, to get sandwiches for the kids or, or you know, wait, wait, waiting to pick up the kids and just, so I just, I just kind of, just kind of. So while while there was some, while there was some downtime, she had a chance to really share share thoughts and feelings on um, what it is to be a Turner Syndrome butterfly. But one thing that one thing that we did have some conversations on the some we did not sometimes we didn't always agree. Uh, was the, was the was the drama, and and then I wanted to. Sadly, she was attacked uh, by the same bullies that that, that, that I was. And she couldn't understand you know, what was going on. She got caught up in the drama, and I think because of the drama that was that was cre created by. A victimized narcissist, and then, and then a group of what we call flying monkeys and recruiters and people to do their dirty work. Uh, I sad to say that I think our acquaintance will irreparably damaged. I don't think we'll ever do. And the sad thing is, I don't think we'll ever be able to do anything. But this week, the one of the first things that came to mind, and I could be wrong, but. And I could be reading stuff that's not there, but hey, folks, work with me this morning, and uh, let's try out, you know, let's try out a theory. I know that as I'm starting to look back, now they know what narcissistic abuse is, and, and I know what the victimized narcissist looks like, and then I know what, the, and I know what the bullying looked like. How they like to, like the leaders will will. Will um, cower and hide, but they'll use other people to do their dirty work. 
And of course, in the in the in the end, they they don't care. And they'll they'll have no problem with throwing them under the bus. And I have a feeling we got some people that were that were thrown thrown under the bus. And I think we have to ask some serious questions. Uh, I know that she was attacked by by the bullies, and I was too. When I first, when I first was, I felt a lot of shame. It wasn't something I was doing wrong. And and I at one point shut down my uh, Facebook page, shut down all because and I felt it was all my fault. Now that I know that it's part of the game to shame somebody and to put them down, it's like now I don't now I don't buy it. I don't smart enough to it. But I've seen a lot of people all of a sudden kind of disappear from that disappear from the scene, and so I'm wondering that's uh, the timing was kind of interesting. Because also, about a month ago, I know that the Turner Syndrome sister was attacked on her YouTube page, and she felt a lot of shame about it. And it was it was her fault, and you know, I, I gave her a lot of word, words of, of of encouragement, and pretty much said and stayed and stayed out stayed out of the way. And then all of a sudden, you know, it, just, it was a kind of a crazy acquaintance, and that's fine. And, and I know that she's spoken for, and that's fine. And her significant other sounds like a great guy, and like, and okay, crazy eccentric, but hey, I love her. What, 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 can say? what can I say? It was kind of, it was, it was uh, that sister was quite, it was quite entertaining, and all of a sudden. She blocked me, and then the thought kicked up my mind. Do you suppose that maybe the bullies were up to their tricks again and spreading tales? I mean, they, just, just the time, just the timing of it. it, it it's just too suspect. The timing of, and then the thing that I'm that I'm afraid of. Is if I support a channel and I give that give that a YouTube channel well deserved kudos, is that channel going to get attacked too? And I think if now I think I would encourage everybody look at the game that's being played and do your own do your own homework and do your own research and your own soul searching and ask yourself is this is this healthy obviously clearly it's not and, you know, I don't have any I don't have any easy answers I I now what I know I can say though that I think in some respects Amy got taken for a ride and that's why I've been Super, you know, super forgiving and, and understanding, and I've just written her a carte blanche check of of, of, forgive, of forgiveness. And so there's something going on. I can, and it's just the, the the mo has been to have people, you know, have. Two people hide by, hide by the scenes and use other people to do the dirty work, and that's been well documented. And I've spoken to other people that have been that have been also been attacked. So it's not a Mark Seward thing, and this is something that's affecting you know, the the, uh, the, Turn, the Turner Syndrome community. So I don't know, but that that you know the trend. I can't quite put my, can't put a finger on it, but just, a, just there's the trend of all of a sudden seeing channels disappear with, with no explanation it is it is usually a sign of bullying and, and and narcissistic abuse. I will tell you this: if any butterfly has been a victim of bullying, not whether it's this situation. Or whether it's something else, or a similar situation, or they, or they're trying to process it. Uh, don't be silent. You're only as sick as your secret. Find a safe community 
talk to other butterflies. Uh, if you feel like this is, if you've done your homework and this feels like narcissistic abuse, there's lots of great YouTube channels and there's lots of great uh, support pages uh, on, on, on Facebook. Some of them are some of them are open comments, although some of them, though, are, are obviously have, have membership requirements to make sure that, that everybody can safely share you know, what's, on, what's on their heart and, and mind. So, Amy, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss the channel. Thank you for all that you've done. And I'm sad. I'm kind of angry at the Rest. And whatever your reason, I support you. You're gonna your 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 channel's gonna be missed, and I'm sorry to see you go. But whatever your reason, there's no hard feelings from me. And I wish you nothing but God's richest blessings. I have you, you have nothing but but blessings from me. Wish you and the Turner Syndrome community the best.